Atlanta, Georgia, 1964. Ivana stood in the small greenhouse attached to her home and frowned at the failing rosebush. The other bushes had not been affected. They flourished around her, glistening with a sprinkling of dewdrops. A bed of Darwin tulip hybrids blossomed bright red and yellow along her greenhouse's glass shell. Behind her, against the solid wall of her house, a flat of purple orchids filled the air with their sweet aroma. A dozen other species of roses grew in neat boxes, none of them infected. But this bush had lost its leaves and shriveled in the space of five days. And that was a problem, because this wasn't just another rose bush. This was Nadia's rose bush. Ivana delicately pried through the dried, thorny stems, searching for signs of disease or insects. She'd already tried a host of remedies, from pesticides to a variety of growth agents, all to no avail. It was a Serbian red from the saxifrage family, snipped from the bush that she and Sister Flauta had planted by the cross. When Ivana had left Bosnia for Atlanta, she'd insisted on a greenhouse. It was the one unbreakable link to her past. She made a fine little business selling the flowers to local floral shops in Atlanta, but the real purpose for the greenhouse was this one rosebush, wasn't it? Yes. She knew that as surely as she knew that blood flowed in her veins. And now Nadia's rose was dying. Or dead. Ivana put one hand on her hip and ran the other through her gray curls. She'd cared for a hundred species of roses over her sixty years, and never, never had she seen such a thing. Each bud from Nadia's bush was priceless. If there was a graftable branch alive... She would snip it off and nurse it back to health. But every branch seemed affected. Oh, dear Nadia, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? She couldn't answer herself for the simple reason that she had no clue what she would do. She had never considered the possibility that this, the crown of her flower garden, might one day die for no apparent reason at all. It was a travesty. Ivana picked through the branches again, hoping that she was wrong. Dried dirt grayed her fingers. They weren't as young or as smooth as they once had been, but years of working delicately around thorns had kept them nimble, graceful. She could walk her way through a rose bush blindfolded without so much as touching a thorn, but today she felt clumsy and old. The stalk between her fingers suddenly snapped. Ivana blinked. It was as dry as tinder. How could it fail so fast? She tisked and shook her head. But then something caught her eye, and she stopped. Immediately beneath the branch that had broken, a very small shoot of green angled from the main stalk. That was odd. She lowered her head for a closer look. The shoot grew out a mere centimeter, almost like a, a stalk of grass. She touched it gently, afraid to break it. And as she did, she saw the tiny split in the bark along the base of that shoot. She caught her breath. Strange. It looked like a small graft. But she hadn't grafted anything into the plant, had she? No, of course not. She remembered every step of care she'd given this plant over the last five years, and none of them included a graft. It looked like someone had slit the base of the rose bush open and grafted in this green shoot. And it didn't look like a rose graft either. The stalk was a lighter green. So then maybe it wasn't a graft. Maybe it was a parasite of some kind. Ivana let her breath out slowly and touched it again. It was already healed at the insertion point. Hmm. She straightened and walked to the round table, where a white porcelain cup still steamed with tea. She lifted it to her lips. The rich aroma of spice warmed her nostrils, and she paused, staring through the wisps of steam. From this distance of ten feet, Nadia's rosebush looked like Moses' burning bush. 
but consumed by the flame and burned black. Dead branches reached up from the soil like claws from a grave. Dead. Except for that one tiny shoot of green at its base. It was very strange indeed.